Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to show you how to use AI to generate some really cool, high quality images of yourself that you can maybe use as your next LinkedIn profile or a nice headshot for a resume. After learning this method, you'll be able to generate endless variations of outfits, settings, and even camera angles. The sky's really your limit. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Johnny. I'm a staff software engineer at Meta. I personally love learning about new AI tools and sharing it on this channel. So if you're interested in that kind of topic, don't forget to subscribe. All right, now let's get straight into it. Right now, there's actually a ton of open source options for generating images of yourself. There are also a lot of different techniques such as IP adapter, face swaps, or fine tuning a LoRa model. For this video, we're gonna be diving into fine tuning your own LoRa model. LoRa stands for Low Rank Adaptation Model. We don't really need to get into the details of how it works. Just think of LoRa as doing some additional training to some base diffusion model. At a high level, what we will be doing is basically giving the diffusion model a set of images of yourself and mapping it to a trigger word. This is basically all you need to know for this video. All right, now let's get started. You'll need the following few things. Number one, you need 10 high quality and high resolution images of yourself in different settings and outfits. The key here is variety if you want the model to be very flexible. Finally, number two, just three or five dollars or so. We mainly need the money because we are going to be using an online service to train our models. But if you have a rig like mine, which is like a nice 4090, you can technically do all of this locally with open source libraries like SS Koya. But I digress. If you're interested in a tutorial to do all of this locally, let me know in the comments below. But for us, we're going to be doing all of this online, as I mentioned, and Replicate is a really good website that provides a lot of these services. And for our purposes, we'll be using one of the pre kind of templated ecosystems for training flux diffusion models. All right, enough of the intro. Let's dive straight into the tutorial. Basically, I have prepared some files here. I have like about 19 Im images or so, but you only need like 10. That's what I've tested. You need high quality images and you kind of need them like of different variety in different settings, maybe wearing different clothes. Um, you don't really need it, but it, it, it makes your model a lot more flexible. So I highly recommend you taking it from different angles and different clothes. But the important thing here is that it needs to be high resolution. Like that's kind of the key. It needs to be high resolution. Now you want to essentially take all of this and zip it up into one file, like just one compressed archive. And essentially that's what you're going to upload to replicate. Um, what, one thing that's like pretty important uh, is you won't be able to do this unless you have like a billing info set up in replicate. So make sure to just add your like, credit card info, it, this should only cost you about $5 or so max to do. But anyway, so that's basically the setup. You just need your images and then you just need to have the billing information. So let's get started. I'm gonna provide the link below on like the exact Flux Dev Lore Trainer um, like template thing. But basically you wanna come here, create a new model in the destination. This could be anything. I just use, I usually use it the same as my trigger name. Now here you want to essentially drop in your archive of all of your files. Now the trigger word, let's take a, let's take a pause on the trigger word. The trigger word is essentially a word that you're going to be mapping your images or your subject that you're training. Um, so that later you can, when you're prompting the diffusion model, you'll be able to use the trigger word. Later, you'll essentially have the trigger word to be able to say, hey, like this is me, or this is the subject that I'm training. So it's pretty important. You, you wanna do something that's like somewhat unique, but you, you also wanna be able to remember what it is. So for me, I just do John K, which is like my name. Now this next section, which is like the auto caption and Basically what behind the scenes, the like kind of the steps that this training um, template is doing is um, it's going to take all of your images and then it's going to caption it. Here you want to give like a prefix. I usually use the trigger word um, and, and the example here is like a photo of and then your trigger word. 
And what that will do is it's going to use AI to caption all of your images and it's also going to prepend this prefix of your name. So it's kind of important to add it. Um, it's not necessary, but it just makes it that much better. Now, that's basically it. All of these other like hyperparameters, you don't really need to worry about it for our purposes, but I recommend you just like kind of looking into it later on your own and you, you should be able to figure out like at a high level what they do. There's a lot of breakdown videos about Lua trading, so feel free to look those up on YouTube. Now you're gonna hit this create training and if you haven't like inputted your billing and stuff like that, this will fail, but essentially, this shouldn't take this should take like five to ten minutes to like get started and I'll show you what that looks like all right so here it is and you can see the output right here you can see in the logs that it's captioning my images and you see the prefix right a photo of John K a man with black hair wearing a big hoodie and looking at the camera with a serious expression so this is basically it you can see that it's like loading the flux model and it's uh, getting the checkpoint ready and preparing the lower network and it's basically training now and all you have to do is just wait it will take about i don't know like 20 minutes or so probably and it, it should cost you like a dollar or, or two and that's about it for the training side it's really simple if, if you have like a 4090 you could do this locally using ss clear and i, I believe this replicate template is basically you do using that behind the scenes let's come back when the training is done all right, it looks like it turned into dark mode while I was away. Um, I guess I started, I, I forget when I started this, but yeah, essentially now it's dark mode, which is, you're welcome. But anyways, so once it finishes training, it goes to the model that it created. In the model page, there's a playground. You can essentially um, invoke the models directly from this from this space and of course you're going to be paying for the usage of it but essentially you go to your model and you hit like the run training uh run trained model button and this is basically a place where you can input your prompt and now if you don't know what to prompt the most important thing here is to make sure you add your trigger word and after your trigger word all you have to do is just prompt like a regular Thing. like for example uh, a headshot looking slightly right with like great lighting like photorealistic or something like that there's like a bunch of ways to prompt and I feel like it's a skill on its own to uh, prompt diffusion models properly but yeah so after that you just have to make sure you have like a height and a width there's like min and maximums I, I recommend you to follow a ratio to like kind of the output that you're looking for like 16 by 9 if you're looking for like landscape 9 by 16 if you're looking for reels format um and like just like a one-to-one -one ratio if you're looking for some kind of profile picture and you don't really need to touch any of these other settings and if you're used to like things like comfy ui then a lot of these like uh, hyperparameters will be very familiar to you but they just give you like a little bit more fine-grained control to your models and you kind of need to know what you're doing to be able to use it. And, uh, and it's really like a lot of like trial and error, um, unless you know like the theory behind it. But, but all right, yeah, let's take a look at some of these pictures. Um, it may take a little bit while, but yeah, like to me, these are pretty good. Like if I was looking for a good LinkedIn profile, I would definitely, uh, I, I, I mean, I use this. If you look on my LinkedIn right now, the, that image is actually generated using AI. So that's about it. Like you can, you can just generate as much images as you want and then like download it. Um, you could also download the model that you created and then use it locally if you have company UI and like a decent uh, computer to run it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick video. I hope you make some banger LinkedIn profile pictures. If you are on LinkedIn, um, send me a follow. Sometimes I, I get a ton of requests, so sometimes I'm slow to accepting them, but I usually get around to it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.